Hello everyone, this is Donish from JavaScriptShare.org SCCM course and today we are going to be creating Create System Management Container, Delegate Permission and Extend the Active Directory Schema. Unfortunately, I created this video and I had issues with the recording so I'm just going to go over each step. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the Domain Controller and this is my Domain Controller. It says right here ADDS that shows that it's a Domain Controller you need to go to tools, go to ADSI edit, and then here you won't see this first. You need to right click here, connect to, then you will see this line, you expand it, you double click on this folder like this, and then you right click on system. After that, you click on new, you click on object. Um, let me just go back here, you click on object, and then you click on container, click next, and here you will type system systems management system management sorry so now when you double click on it you'll see uh, after that you'll see the system management will be um, right here created you need to right click on it go to properties after properties you need to click on security and in security you need to add the help desk basically the whatever account you're using as a as a, as a full domain administrator account that is going to be doing its installation you need to add that and you need to also add the computer name which is the SCCM um, um, computer name in there so I don't see that here but let, let's go ahead and, and the way you add the SCCM I think this is the one SCCM when you add the computer name you need to click on add and you need to change the object type to computers right here so when you click on that you see if I type SCCM now um, that's the same one right there so it will it will you can just add it there then and then you click OK so both accounts should be added in there and then just close this once you close this, go back to your Active Directory tools and right here, Active Directory tools, users and computers. And then here, what you need to do, you need to click on view and here, advanced features. If you click on it again, let me show you, you'll see more features in there. And here you see systems, you need to right click on it, delegate control. When you click on delegate control, you click on next and here you need to add the computer name and the, the, the username and you need to change the object type to for a computer name you need to click on this and then you add the computer name for example if I add the computer name like that and then I add the help this and then I will click next here click create a custom task delegate next click next and then here you will pick all of these options and then you will click finish and then close this properties also so once you finish this Part, what you need to do after that is you need to get the installer for the installation file for the system center and that was on our server um, the other server which was right here so basically what I did I right click on this uh, and I went to properties after that I went to properties I went to sharing and then I did advanced sharings and after advanced sharing I gave permissions to the system admin account a uh, full admin accounts and then I created the share once it's created the share, I went back to my domain controller, I right click here, I go to run, and then I basically put the computer name and click OK. And now I can access the share and all the files from there on the domain controller. So in the domain controller, what I need to do is now I need to run a file from um, from the system, from the application file that I, uh, the, the system config file, I did a mount. I click on mount right here, and then it basically mounted so I'm gonna go back and click here once it's mounted I can double click on this again and then go to SMS setup bin folder and x84 hit the E key and then scroll down and then you need to run this file which is right here actually E and you need to run this EXTADSCH you need to right click on it run as administrator it will take a second and then go back to this PC, go to C drive and you will get this file automatically created. You double click on it and make sure you have successfully extended Active Directory schema. If you don't have this, then you need to troubleshoot. Maybe your account is not full admin account. Something's wrong. You need to figure that out. Um, there's a lot of uh, documentation, Google and all that stuff, but it should go smoothly if you follow the same direction. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video, which we're going to do setup and installation of SCCM on that SCCM server. See you guys in that video.